Case 11 is a 52-year-old status post fall. Here we have some images from a non-contrast CT. These two images are from an MR. On the left, you have flare. On the right, you have T1 pre-contrast. Here we have a sagittal thin slice Fiesta, so high resolution 3D T2 imaging. Now we have two planes of post contrast imaging coronal and sagittal. Finally, just one final coronal image. Your question, what is the most likely diagnosis? And why do these abnormalities require a section? This case is an example of a colloid cyst. Colloid cysts are rounded but eye masses, which occur in the third ventricle. Most commonly, these are in the anterior third ventricle near the foramen of Monroe, although they can occur more posteriorly. The vast majority of these are on CT are hyperdense, which makes them relatively easy to see on CT. On MR, they can be a little variable, but they tend to be hyperintense on T1 and uh, ISO to hyperintense on T2. They don't typically suppress like CSF, and uh, they usually have no appreciable enhancement. Now, the reason you have to resect these is because the patients are supposedly uh, prone to getting acute onset hydrocephalus that can be rapidly fatal. So here you see the CT that we saw at the beginning, uh, this arrow denoting a hyperdense mass in the anterior third ventricle. Here you see the same findings on MR. So you have this T2 and T1 hyperintense mass in the anterior third ventricle. You can see from this position why you might be prone to developing hydrocephalus. Uh, as we mentioned, these abnormalities have to be resected because of the risk of acute onset hydrocephalus.